Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back with my little squirrel journal. I wanna do a little flip through and show it to you. It is promised to someone, so it won't be listed in my Etsy shop, but I did want to um, just thumb through it and uh, show it to you. So it's a lot like the little owl journal that I just did, but with a few little differences. I made this little snippet for the top of it and um, added the, a little pin with a little squirrel charm, an acorn, and a little trio of beads, and put this little vintage um, squirrel image on it with some Liberty of London fabric, vintage bark cloth, and it is a little cutie size um, paper bag journal. So let's just take a look inside. I closed this one with some sari silk on eyelets. And on the inside, it'll again look similar to the owl journal if you watch the flip through of that. A little handmade um, wrapping paper envelope with a letter from me and a library card, a charm, handmade with love and some uh, leaves, a little fabric with some leaves. This is a, a Louise Heinzel digital. And this little front pocket, I made this little card that says, hello, girlfriend, this cute little squirrel. And it's on some old um, scrapbook paper that I had, and I made this little, jer this little owl kind of looks, I'm sorry, <laughs> this little squirrel kind of has the same look about him and it's on a an, an, uh, stamp. So I thought I would add that as a little cluster in the corner there. Some coffee dyed paper. This is a page from a vintage children's book that had a little story about a squirrel. So I was excited to be able to use that. Again, some scrapbook paper. Here's another little uh, journal card tucked under this belly band. This, belly, this paper here is a digital and there's a little applique fall leaf patch with a um, acorn dangle and I have it on a belly band that is made from brown paper and sewn. And then this cute little card has a poem about a squirrel and I backed it with some Tim Holtz paper that can be written on. Okay. And then I have a little three pocket page that I made from vellum. And in the top is a, uh, it's the same paint chip sample that I used in the last journal and it's October leaf and apple butter, and I backed it with um, some writing paper. Oops, okay, let's do this. These are little slant, three slanted pockets. And then this cute little um, vintage squirrel image, I also backed on some Tim Holtz paper. But it was just adorable. and then a little trio of tags. Okay. This is a uh, vintage songbook. This is a page from a tile, a book of tiles from around the world, either floor, ceiling, wall tiles. It's a really neat book. I thought this, the colors were really pretty in here and I trimmed it with some um, lace. And then this is a card or a tag that actually I believe was made by Rhonda without an H. I received this in a packet of journaling goodies from her and I just, to the other side, I just added the squirrel image and uh, Kind of left it at that, but it's nice and heavy and painty and uh, just a really pretty tag. And I added a little cluster here with fabric and a 
safety pin lace and a little crystal. Vintage ledger, children's ledger. This is a pocket. I did a similar page in the owl journal with a paper bag. And then I made two little squirrel tags. One I put inside of the paper bag. And then, uh, and there's a lot of uh, room in this paper bag. So you can put other things or whatever in there. And then this little tag, and I decorated the pocket with the Liberty of London fabric and a fun vintage button. And then tucked into the side here, I made this um, little notebook filled with coffee dyed paper. And it just slides right in here. I used this vintage um, suede cloth for a little page tab there. And this is the center. There are a total of 30 pages. I did some um, beading and put some charms on here. There's a little squirrel, an acorn, and a trio of crystals on this one, and they dangle from the bottom. And then this one has a trio of pretty beads. A, not a trio, but a, a dangle of pretty beads. And the other side of that squirrel story from the children's book. And the book itself that I used is so distressed. And I actually love that. I just kind of left it like that. It's a little tag that I made. Okay, a little decorative paper clip there, holding on this cute little um, journal card with this vintage squirrel. The squirrels are adorable, aren't they? Okay, just winding down. Here's another journal card and a little fabric cluster with some beads. The other back side of that um, tile page with trim, lace trim. This is a song about squirrels. The squirrel loves a pleasant chase. Yeah, I imagine they do. And then this is a uh, little fabric flip. It's got this really cute fabric that I found on in a remnant that's got some squirrels and acorns. And then this is one of my favorite um, fall polka dot prints. And then this wonderful piece of a um, upholstery sample. And I just put a little Liberty of London topper on the top. This is a digital and some scrapbook paper, some writing paper. And then this pocket here has, this is just a simple little tag that I made from the coordinating paper that goes with this pocket. And then this sassy squirrel is a copy of a, of a little vintage um, card from a deck, little maybe animal rummy or something like that. And then a little squirrel postage stamp and cluster here. And then this is the very last page. In this book, I made pockets from burlap. And this is the um, paper that I backed the paper bag with. And then this is a cute little um, squirrel. Remember these little folded notes? I put the little um, gold seal in here with some washi, so if you want to use it to journal in or um, send it as a note, you can. Uh, you probably would need to glue that seal on there at this point because it's so old. I don't know that that little adhesive will hold anymore. 
But anyway, this tucks into this pocket here. And then inside of the back, since this is a paper bag journal, of course you can um, use that as a nice big roomy pocket, is um, my tea bag that I like to include with my journals. And this has some pumpkin spice chai tea. And I decorated it with this little um, squirrel stamp and some paper that I've used throughout the journal and some beads. And I found this, isn't that fun? I love to find um, recipes that kind of correspond with the theme of the journal. And these are called Chewy Nutty Squirrel Bars. Um, so anyway, that would be delicious. It doesn't look like the healthiest um, recipe in the whole world, but boy, it sure looks good. Looks like something that would be a popular um, recipe to make for fall. Okay, so those just tuck in this pocket here and the beads can dangle out the side. And that, my friends, is it. That is my little cutie squirrel journal that, as I said, is promised to someone. Someone reached out to me and asked if they could purchase this before I list it. And um, I was able to do that for them. So here it is. Thank you for watching. I have more um, journals in the works, Some, a couple more little ones that will be um, kind of Halloween and, and fall inspired. That seems to be um, the season we're in and a popular topic right now. And then I'm going to get to work on my Christmas journals. I also am going to make a Kathy Holden journal because I have some beautiful Kathy Holden fabrics, an Edith Holden journal. I have so many journals in my head. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't keep me up at night <laughs> just thinking and dreaming about them. But anyway, I'm having a good time. I hope you enjoyed watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I love your comments. So have a wonderful Sunday, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.